Later today, we see the US inflation data year on year and month on month data releases. I'm on the line with Greg Daco of Oxford Economics to hear his predictions for the releases. Greg, welcome. Firstly, looking back at the inflation rate data in the previous months this year, it is apparent that since March, the inflation rate in the US has been on the increase. Do you predict this climb is here to stay for another month? Yes, I think uh, we're seeing broad-based gains in inflation, uh, both on the uh, gasoline front, on the food front, but also on the shelter cost front. Um, and I believe that uh, these inflationary pressures, though modest, are indicative of an economy that's gradually accelerating. So I do expect uh, inflation to remain around that 2% mark year over year. U.S. CPI data for May showed prices climbing at 2.1% per annual. That was the first time it had been above 2% since 2012. What's your forecast for the outcome of today's data release? I expect, uh, again, modest uh, inflation gains for the month of June uh, and the year-over-year -year pace of inflation to remain around that 2% year-over-year. Uh, uh, that's, again, an indication of the economy that's gradually accelerating and prices pressures that are gradually uh, forming. Uh, but overall, core inflation, so stripping out the volatile energy and food components, uh, should remain just under that 2% mark, uh, which should give plenty of leeway for the Fed uh, to maintain still quite an accommodative uh, monetary policy stance. Looking to the long term, according to recent data, U.S. citizens expect the inflation rate to come in at 3.3% over the next 12 months. Do you see this long-term forecast as a possibility for the U.S.? I think there's a real possibility that we'll see stronger inflation in the coming months, uh, especially if the economy is set to accelerate to around that 3% um, mark. Uh, the big question, though, is how much inflation uh, the Fed will tolerate. I think the Fed uh, is ready and willing to tolerate inflation slightly above that 2% mark, uh, but it will not tolerate inflation as high as 3% and will uh, probably decide to uh, tighten monetary policy if inflation does stay around that 2.5% mark. And any comments on why you don't foresee the Fed tolerating inflation above the 3% mark? Yeah, one of the two uh, Fed mandates is to maintain uh, low and stable inflation, uh, the other one being to maintain full employment. Uh, and the idea is that the Fed uh, will generally try to target price inflation around 2%. Now, Janet Yellen and the Fed have said that they're ready and willing to tolerate somewhat higher inflation than that 2% target as long as there is labor market slack. But I think that inflation above the 2.5% mark is something that the Fed uh, will want to avoid. Uh, the big question is how much wage growth we'll see in the coming months. Um, so far, there is relatively limited wage pressure, uh, and that's the big reason why I'm thinking that uh, inflation as of right now is not a big concern and there's no need to raise uh, any alarms. But once we do start seeing stronger wage pressures, uh, then that will feed into inflation and then uh, we'll likely see a reaction from the Fed uh, to prevent uh, inflation from running out of control. Well, that's all we've time for. Greg, thank you for all your comments. But remember to check back on the Dukascopy site for all your trading updates. Goodbye for now.